Hello student, now today we will study about the trigonometric equation and uh, to find the general solution of trigonometric equation. So, in previous segment we have studied about the uh, general solution of sin theta equal to 0, cos theta equal to 0 and tan theta equal to 0 and sin theta equal to sin alpha, cos theta equal to cos alpha. In this segment we will study about the uh, if a square form has given, so how can you find the general solution of trigonometric equation. So, let us see how to find. First, is sin square theta is equal to sin square alpha. So, in that case how can you find the general solution? So, we are knowing that formula of cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus 1 or is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta okay, or is equal to 1 minus tan square theta. So, just only we have to use this formula. Okay, 1 minus 2 sin square this cos theta is cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So, we can write here sin square theta is equal to let us transfer here. So, what we can write? Let us look 2 sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. So, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. So, on the place of sin square theta we can use this formula. Okay. So, 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2 and 1 minus cos 2 alpha upon 2. Now, 2 do cancel out and 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 alpha. Now, 1 1 cancel out minus cos 2 theta is equal to minus cos 2 alpha minus minus cancel out cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 alpha. So, if cos theta equal to cos alpha, so in previous segment we are knowing uh, we have proved that how to find the formula, how to find the general solution of cos theta equal to cos alpha. So, theta equal to 2n pi plus minus alpha. So, what is theta here? 2 theta. So, we can write here 2 theta is equal to 2n pi plus minus alpha here is 2 alpha. Now, we can take 2 common and cancel out and then finally, theta equal to n pi plus minus alpha. So, in that case sin square theta if sin square theta equal sin square alpha, so general solution with theta equal to n pi plus minus alpha. And same way that is if cos square theta equal cos square alpha, tan square theta equal tan square alpha, in all cases we will get the theta equal to n pi plus minus alpha. Okay, Let us see for second equation. Okay, if second condition cos square theta is equal to cos square alpha. So, look here first formula we have to use here cos square theta is equal that is cos square theta what 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2. So, we can write here 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 plus cos 2 alpha by 2. So, 2 to cancel. So, finally, 1 1 cancel. So, we can write here cos 2 theta is equal to cos 2 alpha same pattern we will get here. So, we can write here 2 theta is equal to 2 n pi plus minus 2 alpha. Now, 2 we can cancel out here. So, theta is equal to n pi plus minus alpha. So, in that case also we get a general solution n pi plus minus alpha. Third is if tan square theta equal to tan square alpha. So, in that case how can you find the general solution? Let us see cos theta cos 2 theta is equal to this one and this one more formula here is cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. So, that formula we have to use here in terms of cos. So, third is if tan square theta is equal to tan square alpha. Okay. So, we can write here on the place of tan square theta if you will transpose this one. So, we can get the formula here 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to in same way 1 minus cos 2 alpha upon 1 plus cos 2 alpha. Let us check here this formula is correct or not. If before the cos 2 theta is minus sign then we have to use the sign form. Okay. Then on the place of cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So, 1 1 cancel out you will get the 2 sin square theta. And here you will get the if before the plus sign then we have to use the cos form. So, you will get the 2 cos square theta that is sin square theta upon cos square theta tan square theta. So, this formula is correct that is 
whatever I have written here this is question. So, by this cos 2 theta equal to 1 minus tan square theta upon 1 plus tan square theta by this formula we have to write here this form. Now, let us see after that we have to simplify here. Now, add plus 1 on both side ok. So, 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus cos 2 theta plus 1 and 1 minus cos 2 alpha upon 1 plus cos 2 alpha plus 1. Now, let us take LCM here. So, 1 plus cos 2 theta and 1 minus cos 2 theta plus 1 plus cos 2 theta and here 1 plus cos 2 alpha 1 minus cos 2 alpha and plus 1 plus cos 2 alpha. So, cos 2 theta cancel and here cos 2 alpha cancel and we will get here 1 plus 1 2 upon 1 plus cos 2 theta and 2 upon 1 plus cos 2 alpha. Now, 2 to cancel out let us take the reciprocal. So, 1 plus cos 2 theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 alpha 1 1 cancel out cos 2 theta equal to cos 2 alpha. So, same result we have got here. Now, finally, we can write here 2 theta is equal to 2 n pi plus minus 2 alpha. So, theta is equal to n pi plus minus alpha. This is the solution in case of tan square theta equal to tan square alpha. That means, if sin square theta equal to sin square alpha, cos square theta equal to cos square alpha and tan square theta equal to tan square alpha. So, in all three cases you will get the general solution theta equal to n pi plus minus alpha ok. And one more case here is for finding the general solution. If any trigonometric equation has given in this form, so for that how to solve the uh, uh, how to get the general solution. Suppose that if equation has given a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c. So, in that case how to find a general solution? So, we have to check here if mod c is greater than under root a square plus b square that means no solution ok, no solution will get. And if mod c is less than or equal to under root a square plus b square then you will get the solution. So, for the for this type of equation what we have to do that means Firstly, we have to take the coefficient of sin x and cos x and we have to square and just find out the root and after getting the root just divide this equation ok. Now, like that like a and b square of a and b a square plus b square and their root. Now, we can write here a upon under root a square plus b square sin x and plus b upon under root a square plus b square cos x and is equal to c upon under root a square plus b square ok. And after that we will get the form of sin a minus b or cos a plus b or cos a minus b. Let us see one example. If sin x plus cos x is equal to 1 ok. Now, coefficient what is a here 1? a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 1. So, under root a square b square what is under root 2? Just divide by under root 2 on both side. So, we will get here 1 by under root 2 sin x plus 1 by under root 2 cos x and is equal to 1 by under root 2 ok. Now, on the place of 1 by under root 2 we can write the form of sin ok because sin pi by 4 sin pi by 4 ok on the place of 1 by root 2 and sin x already has given on the place of 1 by root 2 we can write here cos pi by 4 into cos x and is equal to is let here cos pi by 4. Now, sin a sin b plus cos a cos b this is the formula of cos a minus b. So, we can write here sin yeah, cos x minus pi by 4 is equal to cos pi by 4 ok. So, cos theta equal to cos alpha. So, theta equal to 2 n pi plus minus alpha. So, x minus pi by 4 is equal to 2 n pi plus minus pi by 4 ok. Now, we can get the value here 2 n pi plus minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 this is general solution in this case ok. 
So, now in next segment we will study about the uh, different question if uh, any different uh, like in case of tan theta equal to something has given if any equation has given. So, how to solve this equation and how to get the general solution. So, in next segment we will discuss about that type of question ok. Thank you.